welcome to my channel it's um, it is additional video for my Japanese short rows in the round video this addition I will show you on the example when there is ribbing doesn't matter two by two one by one like in my example here I did some swatches already before as you can see quite invisible these short rows in the round on ribbing two by two and also the wrong side well, they're both the same and let's start I will show you how to switch between the short rows when you have curl and knit stitch together but first I would advise you to check out my main video about the short rows in the round if you are not familiar with this short rows technique and later come back and then it will be more clear for you how to work in ribbing Let's assume we need this far and we need to turn. This is here. We finished with the pearl stitch and we need to turn. We get our marker or piece of scrap yarn. And as you see, when we turn, the yarn is sort of at the back. So we just leave the marker and the yarn at the back because this is where basically you will see this is where it goes well, it will be very uncomfortable if it would stay in front right so we just leave it as it is and we knit as we see the stitches we just continue knitting And we want to turn now here when we finish off with our knit stitch. We turn, we grab our marker and you see the yarn is already at the back so we just leave it as it is. And we purl the stitch. Let it continue as usual to knit our ribbing. So we continue to knit as usual, ribbing one by one or two by two ribbing, it doesn't matter. We come to the marker and we purl. As you see the stitches, that's how you do. Now we have this big hole here, and the next one is a knit stitch. What I do, I put this short row stitch on the left hand needle and I treat it as a normal stitch later. Now, I need to close the hole by knitting two together. And it is important to look how the stitches are lined up. In this case, everything is fine. If I knit two together, Mm. The pattern is not disrupted, so the next stitch is in front, and that float is uh, at the back. Um, pull a stitch, yeah. Do it one more time. Let's say I want to turn here again. It's the next stitch, and the next stitch I'm turning back. On the back, I have a pearl stitch, of course, because that's the other <laughs> side of the knit stitch. Take my marker and a pair of stitches as usual. Without, no, I don't care about the marker at the moment. Until I get to this stitch 
with the marker. I need this stitch because after pearl I need, need to knit. So I pull the marker and this loop I put on the needle and this hole I need to close, right? Now I need to purl together this stitch with this stitch. But now, in order not to interrupt the pattern on the other side, because here will be knit, um, I'm changing the sides, the facing sides. If normally the right leg is in front, I switch it other way around. And I will purl two together through the back loop. And here what happens. This loop stays on the purl side here. And on the other side we have nice uninterrupted knit stitch. say I'm turning again on the right side now I have here the knit stitch put my marker on leave it behind because that's how my stitch is showing and knit it simple properly like follow the pattern I will show you one more time. Here is my short row loop. Here is the next loop. And in order to keep the pattern in order, I just switch the sides. Flip on the other side. And if I purl two together, this float stays on this side not on that side if it will come um, over then you will disrupt the pattern and let's say but when we are knitting in the round and we finish with your short rows I will show you how to close the gap when you are knitting Japanese short rows in the round and I'm knitting my ribbing hmm. and this is the last unworked short row stitch we come from the other side because usually we would uh, knit this together with this stitch but now we are on the other side so what to do and usually when you're finishing the last stitch this stitch will be tight And this is the purl stitch, so we will need to purl them together. So basically what I do now, take out, take off the marker, try to fit it on the needle, take off, put on this. I don't purl this stitch. So this stitch before, before the marker, put them together and if I'm lucky enough, I will manage to purl them together. And I need the next stitch. And I continue. So basically, the hole is closed, um, not as clean as in round knitting than you your ordinary short rows, but it is fairly good. And once you even out and block your knitting, it will not be visible. <laughs> 